Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Got a couple of my favorite tripods out here today. These are Davis Sanford tripods. This, this one is the Pro Vista 7518B tripod. This one is the Pro Vista Airlift. They're both pretty much identical tripods. Same, uh, same legs, same head. The only real difference is that this one has that air lift feature where you can lift the head get a little more height that way if you need it for something but overall these are great tripods but i did want to talk about a flaw on the fm18 head which is what both of these have it's a great head for video. Got a nice uh, pan and tilt. Got the double handles, real easy to control. Nice wide uh, adapter plate. All in all, it's a, it's a good head for the money. And we're talking about budget tripods here. These are not, not real expensive. They're about 150 to 160 bucks, depending on where you shop at, I guess. Uh, that range may even get wider depending on where you shop at. I think I paid 144 for this one. And then about three years later, I paid somewhere around 150 something for this one. But I've had this one since 2013. And I've had this one since 2016. So I've had them a while. Got to use them a lot. And you guys that follow my Buffalo's Outdoors channel, you know I need... You know, I do outdoor videos. I need rugged equipment. And these have been fairly rugged. They're, they're tough. I don't, I don't baby my equipment. I throw it around, beat it up against stuff. Now, now I'm not saying I abuse it, intentionally abuse it, but it has to be tough for, for it to last any amount of time with me. But I did want to bring a flaw of what I think is a design flaw to your guys' attention if you happen to be looking at one of these tripods. This, this, uh, this lever that adjusts the tension on the tilt, it's got a crack in it. And what that'll do is it'll eventually break off and the spring will come out and your handle will come out and possibly lose it. This one broke off. It broke off on me about a year after I had it. Could have been my fault. I could have slammed it down against something or something like that, but by both of them doing the exact same thing, I don't think it was my fault. I just think it's a bad design. What I did with this one is I took an 832 uh, Allen head screw and I took a, a drill and tap and I drilled and tapped in behind here, put a couple of washers on, put that screw in and now, you know, I fixed that. Just have to push in on it and use it like normal. I don't ever have to worry about that one. Uh, breaking or coming off and I actually need to go ahead and do this one that way before it breaks off and I lose my spring or my tension handle so I need to go ahead and get that taken care of but all in all these are great tripods and as I say uh, in that in that budget range budget price range when it comes to tripods uh, you know really good tripods are really expensive so for 150 bucks, you can't, you know, I can't compare this against a thousand dollar tripod, obviously, but just something to keep an eye on is that. And I will say this too, it seems as though Davis and Sanford are going away from the FM18 head. I hope they're replacing it with a V18. I hope it's as good as the FM18 head because I really do like this head other than that one flaw and I was able to fix it and I'll fix it on both of these, but. The FM18 head, I, it's, it's, it looks as though it's going away. I've noticed that even this tripod, if you look up this model on B&H photo site, it, it lists that it now comes with the V18 head instead of the FM18 head. And I noticed that it doesn't have this tension adjuster. It's got a small lever up here on the side. So hopefully all they did was just fix the flaws and not, <laughs> I hope they didn't ruin the head. I don't know. You know, I'm not an insider or anything, but 
that's really all I got today. I'll talk with you guys again soon.